They are currently facing communication bottleneck problems. If you look at the communication between the CPU and the memory, it's very limited, and so that's actually one of the limitations for current computers today. And so the idea of silicon nanophotonics is that you could integrate optics onto the electronics chips, and that would provide you optical communications on a chip and allow you to have much faster data communications. We're doing things that are in line with how industry does electronic circuit design, but we're doing it in the optical world, so we're doing uh, optoelectronic circuit design. My project is hopefully going to involve biosensors, so I'm going to be um, designing and um, having biosensors fabricated and then testing them with, with microfluidic channels and integrating them. And I'm hopefully going to use that to detect um, things happening with cells and maybe even things like cancer detection or antibody detection. The students design chips and then they send them to a world-class foundry in Europe and then receive the chips back and then test them as part of a full design cycle. On the chips that the students make, we actually include on the order of about 1,000 to 5,000 different optical devices on a single square centimeter. My part of the course is to teach the students how to do mask layout and verification. So that, that's a critical aspect of the design of a real-world device because it makes the connection between the theory that they learn and the computer simulations they do in order to arrive at an interesting design, but it connects that to real-world fabrication processes. Very good professors here, very strong like research group in, at, at UBC in optics, and also we have uh, advanced uh, instruments. Uh, professors working close to the industry, so that can give me a lot of experience. And I've actually sort of made a transition from being uh, research focused to teaching focused. And so, you know, it's the interaction with the students, those moments, you know, epiphanies. The students come from all across Canada to participate in this class. It's, uh, it's kind of hard for a university to get a good uh, access to the kind of fabrication, the kind of quality of fabrication that we get during this class. You really get to kind of see what's going on. It's a lot better than looking at a textbook, at least. What we find as, as instructors for this course is that the motivation for students to learn the material is much higher than if we just ask them to, to do an assignment or do an exam at the end. Every little aspect of electromagnetics, all the mathematics, all the derivations, all that stuff actually at the end comes down to a single device, whether it's going to work or not. And so the motivation is, is much more exciting to actually have something that works at the end.